Guys, uh, this uh, is, it was inspired by Fortune Cookie 45 LC. Uh, he was doing some ladle casting, I think back in 214 or 215 or 216, and he had some ladles. And I just thought it, I would show you some of this stuff. This, these are my buddies on this side. This great big one here is uh, that one, that one. This one here was, uh, uh, he made a handle for it. I think it's the same size as what, like that one over there is. Uh, this one is um, something of interest. Now, if you notice the holes down in the bottom of this, well, that's there for a reason. It keeps the dross back when you go to pour your lead. Now, my buddy got two of them. I don't know where he, well, I know he got them at a, uh, a, a sale. They had an auction someplace, and he got, got two of these things. And like I said, that holds the dross back while you pour it out. You know, some you know some was a heck of a lot longer than the others, but I just thought I'd show these to you. Some uh, ingots. So we'll go over here just a second. Now, fortune cookie got one of these. I think it's called a. Uh, let's see, R O R O W E L L. But anyway, you, you see the holes at the bottom, and that's the start, that's and it comes out that end. That's to keep the dross back. You got one of those. Now th these are some of the stuff that I've come across in my uh, uh, rambling through uh, auctions and flea markets. And this one here is a, a Lyman. You can tell. Uh, I had an RCBS. I don't think I ever used it. I just didn't really like it because it wouldn't sit still when to roll. And I think I gave it away. I sent it to somebody that needed it. But uh, yeah, there's all kind of different uh, ladles that you can use. Now, like I said, the, the, those ones that my buddy picked up with, the, with that uh, petition in there to keep the dross back, I thought that was something else. Now this is something, this is just for like stirring stuff up. This is brass. And this is just an aluminum spoon. Uh, big long thing that uh, getting down in there and getting the stuff out of there. That's just a, an ingot mold I had laying around here. I think there's a RCBS, a Seiko, a Lee, a couple of Lyman's, and who knows what else. Now there's also pots, but I'm not going to dig those pots out. But there's that one pot. That's that 50 or that 45 pound. That's what it weighs, 45 pound. I got hanging from that tripod. And that tripod, it uh, would not work for a lot of lead. You'd have to change uh, the diameter of them pipes that are holding it up. You know, to something a lot thicker and a lot more durable. Apparently, the guy had it just for his wife that he put uh, flowers and stuff in. I mean, this thing is. It's heavy. It's a heavy duty. Now, I got a pot that I got off of that plumber guy, and it'll hold uh, about 80 pounds. So then it'll, it'll go right down in here with no no sweat. So I'm thinking this pot, that steel pot, that cast iron pot, will probably hold 160 to maybe even close to 200 pounds after it's melted down. But I just wanted to show you this. These pots are out there, people. I think this one here's a lodge. Yeah. I ever used it for anything. This is like my buddy's that he put the, the handle on. It's got that that uh, extra uh, thing for extra long for pouring. Uh, I mean that's a cat's meow. I mean if you want to fill up an ingot and then without getting all getting stuff all over the place that was the thing to use. But I just thought I'd run these past you. They're out there if you keep your eyes open. Get off your butt, go to those flea markets, go to an auction, go to the garage sales. They are out there. Don't tell me you, you can't find them any place. Well, because you haven't been out looking. They are out there. Like I said, my buddy come across these. Uh, man, those things are really, I mean, they're different. 
I didn't find these. He did. He got these all on his own. Uh, I was showing him how to do some reloading and how to do the casting because he bought, bought all this stuff. He hasn't done anything down home yet by himself, but now he has all the equipment that he needs except maybe he might still need a, uh, a cast iron pot, if I remember right. He did get a, um, oh, what's that called, a Lee 420 uh, electric uh, pot, but if he uses that, he won't need these, these ladles. But anyway, we were doing the stuff outside, casting ingots and uh, casting bullets and all the good stuff. But that's how you learn about your heat temperatures and so on. And I wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to get it out there before I forget about making it again. And uh, keep your eyes open. Go to the sales. And thanks for watching.